What's up everybody, today we're going to talk about Cardano. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video because I make videos every single day talking about the latest and the best altcoins in the crypto market. So here we are in Coinbase, let's check out what's been happening to Cardano for the last couple of days and last couple of hours. At the one hour here, you can see that it is going a little bit down, so it's almost minus 1%, so just not that bad. In the last 24 hours, however, we're up by almost 7%, so this is really good to see. The one week here we're up by almost 12%, the one month here we're up by 13%, that's pretty cool to see. In the year here we're up by over 2500%, so that's pretty cool to see. It says the market cap for this coin right now is 44.1 billion. The volume in the last 24 hours is 3.5 billion. The circulating supply is 31.9 billion ADA. It says here the popularity of this coin is the ninth, so it's, a, it's at the ninth place. So a lot of people are investing into Cardano. But look at this. We're going to need a lot more volume if we want this coin to break through the top and continue to go up. But a really good thing did happen right now to Cardano. So let's check that out and let's see what's going to happen in the future. So here we are in trade view. So what's been happening to this coin? Look at this. Finally, we broke through another crucial level of this coin here. So we basically broke the $1.3 level for this coin. Look at this. So beautiful. If you go from here to here, actually, we can see a 7% increase. And I think finally something really good has happened. And that is Cardano is not following Bitcoin so much anymore because bitcoin is now making a different graph but cardano did something different basically cardano went up while bitcoin was going down so this is just really good to see now so we did have a huge increase while bitcoin didn't have this huge increase now if are we breaking the pattern hopefully we are we do not want cardano to follow bitcoin because we want cardano to have its own pattern and just be different for bitcoin and that's it because we don't want it to rely on bitcoin because if bitcoin goes down then cardano will go down with it but this way if it makes its own pattern then it's a different story then we should be able to continue to go up so I do have a lot of graphs here that i'm showing you guys but it is pretty interesting I want to show you every single detail that I did make here. It's a pretty cool graph, but first I'm going to take this Fibonacci attractment and let me just place it right over here in this area. And we can see the crucial levels that we need to break from or break through to basically. So this is how the graph actually does look like. And as you can see, we're trying to break through to these levels here. And we almost did it. So we're pretty close to doing it. We're so close to making this graph be just unbelievable. So look, look at what just happened here. Basically, we broke through to this line here. After that, we got we got rejected here, but at least we did break through to this level here. So why did we get rejected? Well, it's because of this. So if we go from here to here, uh, people who are day traders will get these 12%. So people who bought here, the day traders who bought in this area, are going to sell in this area. They are going to get that 12% profit for themselves. So now we're going to feel a rejection. Now it all depends what's going to happen. But maybe there's a chance we're going to hit this wall again. So we're going to hit this line again. And then we're going to try and rebound here. If that's even possible. If not, there's again a good situation where we are making a flag here. And with this flag, something like this. With this flag, if we are able to break to the top side, we then can continue to go up. So if something like that happens, then we have to measure this little flag here, take this, and the increase should be right over here. So somewhere over here, but I think we're gonna pull it all the way to this area here. Now, like I said, for now, really good things are happening to Cardano, because if you look at the past, it was just following Bitcoin here. It was super much just following Bitcoin and really bad things were happening. You can basically form a giant triangle right over here, and as you can see from this giant triangle, we broke to the downside. Now we formed another giant triangle here and we broke into to the downside. Look at this. But what I thought would happen was that we would hit this level and then continue to go down. But no, we reached almost to this level. We rebounded, so we bounced and continued to go up. So we broke through to the top of this triangle and then continued to go up. And that's super important to know about this coin here. So the bare scenario that I thought would happen is basically we're going through this tri triangle, going down basically, hitting this low, the, the 0.99 cents area, and then continue to, do, to go down to this area at 0.86, so 86 cents. And then 
yeah, that will be a pretty bad situation. But uh, but then if we pass this area, that will be the end of Cardano. So that this is our last support basically for this coin. Because as you can see, that didn't happen. Actually, good things, really good things are happening to this coin. Actually, actually delete these <laughs> graphs here from our last video. But if we do pass this area here, this means it's the end of the bull run for Cardano here. But as you can see, we're we're not even close. <laughs> Like not even close. We would have to go from here to here. We have to do 30, yeah, 40% down. It has to go 40% down if we want this coin to reach this level right now. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen, but hopefully we, we never reach this area. And we just try to continue to go up and try to breach the next area that we want to get out of. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. But first, the other thing that I thought is okay i didn't really think it's going to go all the way down i thought we we're gonna rebound in this area and then continue to go here stabilize break through enter this triangle and then continue but as you can see that didn't happen what actually happened is that we did break to the, to the top side and that's really really good so that's awesome news for this coin and that was the best scenario that could happen for this coin i wasn't expecting that so basically it's the exact same thing as bitcoin here the whole graph we have two triangles boom going to the downside Another triangle going to the downside, then rebounding and continuing to go up. Like, that's amazing. That's really good to see here. Even Ethereum here just making new strides. So, Ethereum to the moon, basically, here. New all time highs. Let's go to 3K pretty soon here. So, let's go back to ad actually, and let's talk about what's going to happen now. So, we have our second triangle. So, we had a giant second triangle right over here. And that's this triangle here in this area. And basically, what I thought was going to happen is like the best scenario that could have happened is that we did if we did stabilize in this area and then break through why is that important because every time you do something like this every time you bounce off or uh, the more you bounce off basically the more momentum you're making so basically the bigger explosion is gonna be because we didn't really bounce off too much here as you can see we didn't go too much up basically we just got by seven percent but if we had more momentum that's what i'm trying to tell you guys if we had more momentum here we will be able to break to even to this level here basically that's what i'm trying to tell you but this would be the better situation but this is still pretty okay but all the pay what's gonna happen if we do break through this triangle again hopefully we do not continue to go down hopefully we continue to uh do something like this if we do enter this triangle and then just bounce off again and boom to the top side but the bare scenario I can see right now is that we do go to the downside but we're only gonna hit this level here i don't think we're gonna get past this level I don't think we're gonna just continue to go down i think we're gonna rebound here and then just continue to go up slowly hit this level here and try to break through stabilization continue to go up until we hit this level here at 1.5 dollars now that's gonna be a really crucial area for cardano here it's gonna be super tough for us to break to this area because look at this we got rejected once so once here the second time here the third time even here we didn't reach this area second time but here we got rejected two times so first time second time so a lot of rejection in this area super a lot of rejection but hopefully if we do have enough volume we could be able to break through and i think it is a time i really think it is a time to just break through all of these barriers that we've been having and if we do the really good things can happen now what i think can happen is that probably so look at this first things first people if we do hit this level then probably what's gonna happen is people will buy and not a lot of people will sell it's gonna just stabilize a little bit so just a little bit of stabilization and then hopefully we're gonna continue to this level now i feel we're gonna get rejected why because if you go from here to here 13 percent so we're gonna get a little bit of rejection but that rejection is gonna be the same rejection we go to this level again and then we have enough power to break through to the top finally and if people do see that we are breaking to this value here it's going to be a huge trigger to make this coin just explode and continue to go up where we basically just have a huge rocket ship <laughs> so something like this something that like this that happened here just a huge explosion in price a huge explosion if we go from here to here we can see yeah 120 percent. i don't think it's going to be 120 percent. i think it's going to be if we do measure this triangle here because i did make there's a third triangle that i didn't show you guys but this is the giant triangle this is the super giant triangle i'm talking about for cardano here so basically uh if we take the biggest wick here 
we can go from here to here. If we take it and if we place it here, you can see the value where we can go. So somewhere here approximately we can reach. So this should be, if we take the measure here, 26% increase. But if we do measure from here to here, it's basically going to be a 37% increase from now on, from now on basically. That's going to be really, really good for Cardano here. Just imagine breaking through to this triangle that we've been trying to break through for the longest of times. If you go from here to here, it took, how much is this? Two months. <laughs> You've been waiting for two months. Even more than that. So, even more than two months to just break through to this level and for Cardano finally, finally to hit that $2 mark. We're gonna try and hit that $2 mark. It's gonna be pretty hard, but there is a good possibility if everything goes okay, if we're still pretty bullish, that we could be able to go up. But also, we have a huge problem where our R size is at the top here. So that's pretty bad. We do have still room to reach this area, but will we get rejected? It all depends on the buying power. The volume right now needs to be a lot bigger if we want this coin to continue to go up. But we can get the volume if people see that we are breaking through to this line. I think then it's going to be a huge indicator. It's time to buy and let's continue to go up. So when people do see that we're passing this line here, that's going to be the huge trigger to tell people just it's time to invest. Uh, let's continue to explode. Let's continue to go up. And basically we should be able to hit that $1.9 or like $2 area. That's going to be pretty awesome. So let's even take this. Let's go take our not our measure but our Fibonacci trackment and we can see if we go from here all the way to this level actually okay, guys it's a huge increase this is all the way we can go basically from the peak to the bottom this is what the Fibonacci trackment tells us it's two dollars exactly but if we go from this peak here to this minus here it says the next target could be this level here and if it does happen something like this is going to be amazing so, $2. Can Cardano reach $2? Probably if we break through. So, if we do break through to this triangle, if we do break through to the triangle, and if we do break to this line here, we have to break this barrier. So, it has to pass this level here. If we do pass it, that's it. That's it. We're going to go, maybe we're going to stabilize along the way, but we're pretty much going to go to $2 pretty quickly here. So, that's a huge, huge increase. If we go from now to then, it's going to be a 45% increase for Cardano here. And that's amazing to see and amazing to hear. But guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. What do you guys think about Cardano? Will the value of this coin continue to go up? Will it go down? What is your future price prediction for this coin here? If you did enjoy this video, it means so much to me. If you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.